Our circuit is powered by a total voltage of 36 volts and is composed by 7 main resistances. This circuit is divided into two main sections. The first one, which is the parallel, and the second one, which is the series. First, we are analyzing the parallel section. So it is composed by three resistances. The first one of 18 ohms, the second one of 36 ohms, and the third one of 12 ohms. For each resistance, the voltage is going to maintain constant. Look how the voltage stays the same throughout all the resistances at the parallel section. So look how here the voltage is 36 volts. Then how here with 18 ohms, the the voltage stays the same and here also with 12 ohms the voltage stays also with 36 volts but the current is going to change constantly so in order to calculate the current of each resistance we have to divide the voltage by the resistance so for the first resistance we're dividing 36 volts by 18 ohms which give us 2 amperes look at the simulation how the resistance of 18 ohms generates a current of 2 amperes then for the second one we're dividing 36 volts by 36 ohms which give us 1 ampere look how it matches with our calculations and for the third resistance we're dividing 36 volts by 12 ohms which give us 3 amperes. The simulation of the 12 ohms also matches with our calculations with a current of 3 amperes. Then we're going to calculate the equivalent resistance which is pretty easy. We just have to follow a simple formula for the parallel which consists of dividing one by each resistance and then adding them all and we did that with our three resistances and we got an equivalent resistance of 6 ohms. Then to calculate the total current, we have to divide the voltage, which is 36 volts, by the equivalent resistance, which is 6 ohms. And that gives us a total of 6 amperes. As we can see, the simulation matches with our results. Then for the section 2, the series is composed by 4 resistances, the first one of 3 ohms, the second one of 2 ohms, the third one of 6 ohms, and the fourth one of 1 ohm. So here what is different to the first section is that the current for each resistance is going to maintain the same. Here in the simulation we can see how the current maintains always constant no matter what resistance we're using. But the voltage is going to change constantly for each resistance. So what we want to do first is calculate the equivalent resistance, which is uh, an easier process compared to the parallel process to calculate the equivalent resistance. So to do that with the series, we just have to add all the resistances and doing that we have a total of 12 ohms. Then we want to calculate the total current, which is going to maintain constant for each resistance. To do that we have to divide the voltage by the equivalent resistance and doing this we have a total of 3 amperes. This calculation also matches with the simulation. Then with that data we can calculate the voltage of each resistance and in order to do that we have to multiplicate the total current by the resistance. So follow following that formula for a resistance of 3 ohms we get a total of 9 volts. As it is seen on the calculations if we use a resistance of 3 ohms we get a voltage of 9 volts. Then for 2 ohms we get 6 volts. The simulation clearly matches with our calculations. From 6 ohms we get 18 volts. Here we can see the 6 ohms and how the voltage is 18 
volts and from one ohm we get 3 volts. The result is the same as in our calculations. We can see how one ohm generates a voltage of 3 volts. Then for the entire circuit, in order to get a total equivalent resistance, we follow a similar formula to the one we used for the parallel. So what we do is that we add the division of 1 by the first equivalent resistance plus 1 by the second equivalent resistance and then we get a total equivalent resistance of 4 ohms. Then in order to get the total current we divide the voltage by the total equivalent resistance and what we get is a total of 9 amperes. This result also matches with our calculations. And the voltage of the entire circuit is 36 volts.